This is the Airbus A330-743L, more commonly known as the Beluga XL. Today, we're gonna get swallowed by this beast. This is the aircraft that transports parts all around Europe for Airbus. And we're gonna take you on the inside. Welcome to Airplane Mode. Today, me and my gorgeous safety hat are here at the Airbus facility in Broughton in North Wales. Here is where they manufacture aircraft wings and a lot of them. Now Airbus has an interesting history in aviation. It's made up of Spanish, German, British and French companies that all now come together under the Airbus umbrella. But because of that, lots of different parts of the planes are manufactured all over the place. Here they make the wings and these Beluga aircraft come in to take them to the places to be attached onto the fuselages of the planes. In the 70s and 80s, Airbus were using aircraft called Super Guppies to transport everything around the world. Since 1995, they have the Belugas. However, since 2020, they have these Beluga XLs that we're going to see today. So I'm here with my new friend, Paul, who I'm told is the head of supply chain for the whole of the UK for Airbus. Big job. It is. What does it mean? <laughs> so I'm responsible for all of the parts that are flowing into our factories and obviously our fantastic wings flowing out of our factories. Well, this looks like a very big and impressive facility. So what are we actually going to see today? So today we're going to see Lima India come in, our XL3. We're going to take off our empty jigs and we're going to fill her back up again with a couple of 330 wings. Well, I think the Beluga aircraft is about to land. Are we allowed to go out and watch it land on the runway here? Sure, of course we are. Let's do it. she comes. More dream country moments. I'm going to get in this tug and we're going to pull in this beast. I thought they were going to let me drive. Can I not have a go? Maybe later. Maybe later, <laughs> he says. How'd you get in there? <laughs> so what we're seeing today is delivery from Toulouse. This would have left here with wings on it, and now it's been returned, ready for us to put wings back on it. So we're now pulling this off. It's coming onto the VIR, and then it's gonna move forward on its rails onto our cargo border loader. And how many wings on a normal day, or unloads and offloads are you gonna do? Ah, uh, so we can take up to six belugas in a day and we can get all sorts on a beluga. We don't just bring wings or empty jigs back in. We can also bring A350 covers as well. So the top and the bottom skin that you'll see on an A350 wing, they come from different Airbus sites and they're also delivered by Beluga too. What are we about to load on here? What we're about to load is a pair of A330 wings and these are gonna go to Bremen today uh, where they're gonna be finally equipped and then they're gonna go to Toulouse, which is our final assembly uh, facility. Where, uh, where we'll join them up to the fuselage and then deliver them to our customers. Wow. So welcome, welcome to the biggest front door ever. This is insane. It looks absolutely enormous. How big actually is it? What's the capacity and what can this Beluga XL carry? At the opening, um, the doors are 7.5 meters by 8.1 meters. So they are as big as they're looking. In terms of capacity, we're able to take two A350-1000 wings uh, straight down the middle here. So it's a, it's a really big aircraft. So we've got our empty jigs moved to one side. Now you can see our 330 wings are shuffling along on their rails, ready to be lined up with our, uh, with our Beluga interface rack. There's no messing around, is there? Not at all. We're really proud of the turn time here in Broughton. We're consistently uh, turning the aircraft from chocks to chocks in 60 minutes. I feel like I'm getting on some kind of spaceship here, but now I've been given the opportunity to climb these stairs, to go into the cockpit, to have a chat with the pilots that fly the Beluga. This genuinely feels like a spaceship. Hello, hello, I'm Nikki. Can I sit here? Yeah. This is really cool for me. I know this is just your office, but this yeah. is like very exciting. We, we used to say that we are a very nice office, you know? The wallpaper is changing every time and the view is wonderful. 
The aircraft is, uh, you know, it has very high performance. We can make short landing, short takeoff. You're about to have some wings put inside. Yeah, you see the wing. Does it fly differently for you when you when you're fully loaded? There is not a big, big difference. My my last question is like, can I have a go? Can I can I can I fly the plane? <laughs> I think the laugh was a hard no with a smile. So what's happened is, is our border loader has, uh, has lined up with our beluga loading system. We've got tracks here and we're slowly moving the, uh, the wings inside of the beluga. So we'll lock it in and then it'll be good to go to shut the front door. Where's the button? How to shut the door? Just inside. <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I've been invited to go on the inside when they close the door. So I guess we're going to do it. I just hope they let me out before they fly. The button is being pushed. Okay, we're here. The doors are closing around us. The doors, the door, the giant door. What's funny is it's the tiniest little button that they're pressing to shut this enormous door. We're in. Woo! We're closed. I never thought I'd be coming to the middle of Wales to go whale watching, but I am, and the beluga's getting pushed back now, and we're gonna watch her take off. One, four, five, India, so this went three, four, zero degrees, seven knots, from way zero, four, good take off. Runway zero, four, I'm gonna get a one, four, five. Day has been insane. Watching that take off is aviation dreams coming true. The whole experience today has been unbelievable. And if you want more cool insider stuff like this, stay tuned and subscribe for the next airplane mode. For now, nobody's looking, so I'm gonna hop in this tug and go for a ride. Thank you. Yeah, but I...